Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today is part 5 from my Halloween marathon and I will be showing you how I made these four cards. These cards are perfect for beginners and they are very quick, easy and simple to make. So I'm using some Distress white heavy cardstock and I'm spraying with oxide sprays and I've used the colors wilted, wilted violet, crackling campfire and twisted citron. I'm spritzing with some water and just tipping down a paper so that the sprays will move around a little bit. Sorry for the camera being out of focus. Some more water. And that's the first card. Some cleaning. <laughs> I'm not using a splat box because it makes it uh, kind of difficult to, to film. So I'm drying everything with a heat tool. And the next part will be stamping. And for the stamping part, I used a stamp from Tim Holtz. And it's called Bold Fright. And it's a new one from uh, Tim Holtz's Halloween collection. Just stamping with some archival. And here you can see me using the Toil and Trouble Witches, which is also from Tim Holtz. And I was planning to put some glitter over it, but no. I know myself and I didn't want to make a mess, so I just kept them uh, just in regular black cardstock. Packing paper won't come off. <laughs> yeah, I did use uh, for for all the the die cuts. I did use some um, double sided tape. And here I am fuddling around with how I want to place everything. And I kept the tip of the witch's head uh, on uh, the witch. I didn't snip it off like I would usually do. And that's the little cat. Just playing how on it. Upside down. No. Just straight. And some bats from the crazy bat die. So we're almost done. And I've chosen to stick this card down on some black cardstock. And this is how it looks. And I really like it. So let's move on to the next. So the second card is basically the same as the first card. I've used the same sprays and the same colors. The only, thi the only thing that I did different is that I did a little bit of stamping. And this is the Tangled Web stamp from Tim Holtz. And this is the other witch from the Toil and Trouble die set. With the cauldron and the little mouse. Snipping off just a tiny bit of the tail because I felt it was a little bit too long. And this sentiment, trick or treat, comes from the Mr. Bone stamp set. Oh, 
which is also from Tim Holtz. And this is the end card. I did screw it up a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit crooked, but hey, it's okay. I can leave it it. And those are the finished cards. And this is card 3. And for this card I'm using some prized ribbon, hickory smoke and some twisted citron. And spritzing with some water. Tipping the paper over so that the oxides will move a little bit more. And I will heat set it with a heat tool. Uh, some drops with some hickory smoke. More water. And that's my heat tool. <laughs> okay, for the last card I'm using some prize ribbon. Filtered violet. Hickory smoke and twisted citron again. And all of them are, ox are oxide sprays. Just some cleaning, because I can. <laughs> Just tipping it a little bit, spritzing with some water. And moving on to the stamping part. So, again, the bold fried stamp set. With some archival ink. And it's a big stamp, so make sure that you repeat the process a little bit, so that you will have a good impression on your card. And for this card, I also use the Bold Fright stamp set. And this die is called Beyond Regions, or Regions Beyond, I can't remember. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> so... I, I cut the raven out in some black cardstock with some double sided tape. And this book is colored with some antique linen. Some ground espresso. And the little pieces, I will color them with some vintage photo. And I was struggling getting everything together, but everything worked out in the end. Oh, and I've decided that I wanted to color the edges with some archival black ink. What I meant was that I was struggling with uh, sticking the book together. You will see in a minute. Okay, first I will stick down the raven. That's the book. This is the easy part. Next is the part that you need a lot of patience with. You can use tweezers as well. Okay. 
and that's why I like to use double sided tape. And this is where I second guess myself. Yep. And this card is finished. Oh, I forgot about the little feather, the writing tool. Writing thingy? <laughs> I don't know how to call it. I use some antique linen and some black soot for the middle part. Double sided tape for the win, guys. Next card is just a very simple and plain one. The only thing that I did is that I stamped the phrase, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus on a card with some black archival. And I've colored the edges with some black archival ink, just to make it a little bit more black. It makes it just a little bit more mysterious. And put some, I stick some crazy bats on it, and that's it. And those are the four cards that I've made. I hope you enjoyed the series. And today was part five. And tomorrow it's part 6 of the Halloween Marathon. And I hope to see you then. Same time, same channel. And have fun creating everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.